welcome to my channel. My name is Peace. I'm with the Footsteps to Peace. I'm a psychic astrologer and an intuitive life coach. If you are interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box down below. There you'll find the link to my website, thefootsteps2peace.com. Also, like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And hit that notification bell so you can be updated the next time I post a video. All right, you guys. New moon in Capricorn. All your hard work is paying off. All the, her the, all the hard work that you've been putting in thus far, it, I don't care how far in the past, up until this present, everything is starting to pay off. For some of you, you could be dealing with father issues, okay? Something going on with the father, um, or maybe there's a new... Uh, you're finding out you're going to be a father. Uh, first and foremost, this card suggests a new start for you professionally, okay? Whatever has been going on in your work life, this card heralds the start of a new and improved work cycle. If you're unhappy in your current job, this is the time to either renegotiate your position or look for something new. Whatever your question, whether work-related or otherwise, a new plan and strategy is called for. You need to take a look at the long term and think about where you want to be in 12 months or even five years time. That will inform you of your best course of action now. So think seriously about it. Drawing this card suggested is a time for you to be ambitious about whatever it is that you want to achieve. Attuning to the moon says make a proper plan and execute it well. Additional meaning says you need to be more disciplined to reach your goal. Hard work will make your dreams a reality, a very good omen for study or teaching. Don't be too controlling and avoid anyone who is controlling, okay? So this is about <clears throat> Capricorn Rell's government. Duh. We all know that they want their power and control over the rest of us. If you ha can't see it by now, then I don't know what to tell you. You're never going to see it, okay? <clears throat> so with that said... Today is about hard work. Whatever hard work that you're putting in right now, it's like the universe is going to bless you times 10, okay? So keep that in mind. Spirit, please show me what message, what guidance do we have for Monday, March 28th. God, can you believe it's almost April? April Fool's Day, guys. Don't get fooled, okay? Spirit, please show me March 28th. All right, we've got, wow, there's the Capricorn card right there. Capricorn showing up in its own reading. So the devil is here and Capricorn. So the, I'm not surprised that this is Capricornian energies. For some of you, you could be a Capricorn. All right, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, don't be tempted by the devil. Chariot, wow. Queen of Cups. So be careful of, you know, oh, wow. Hmm. Why is the devil here, spirit? Ten of Swords, Five of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. So, okay, first thing that I'm getting, you have worked really hard at overcoming some type of an addiction, okay? You, I feel like someone here could also be tempted by the devil, all right? Try not to overspend, but I feel like Try not to get tempted by the devil. She's got her back, the Queen of Cups. How I see it is she's got her back to the devil. She's turning her back on it. She's turning her back on greed. She's turning her back on... Oh, isn't that funny that I told you that uh, Capricorn is the government and then the devil comes out? Like, if, again, if you can't see that, I don't know what to tell you. But you're going to hear something that has to do with possibly a woman in government, okay? There is something here. What I like, mm, there's two ways. I see someone here who is buying a new car. Congratulations. Um, but I'm also seeing... I see somebody who is leaving, maybe left their significant partner, okay? Maybe because their partner had addiction issues. And I feel like, you know, maybe you went and like took off and traveled towards where there was water. If you're a feminine or your feminine left, she went maybe towards like, you know, maybe she went for the to the lake for the weekend or she went to the beach, you know, she went to a... Uh, I just see where she's traveling, okay? I'm getting traveling because I'm seeing this path here and I'm seeing the chariot. And I think that she's just now coming home. Maybe she left. It, 
she needed to overcome some type of a painful situation. There's been some type of grief and loss. Maybe you lost someone because of an addiction. Whether they died or you broke up with them or, you know, something happened because of an addiction. This isn't going to be for everybody. This is what I'm getting. I feel like there's some, uh, there could be like something like financial attached. Maybe you got to come back and you got to go to work. Okay. You left for the weekend. You're driving back in because you got to come back and go to work. Maybe you left for a weekend or something. My nose is itching as I'm saying that. <sighs> Funny. I got government again. Holy shit. Wow, what's that tower all about? Woo, putting down a burden. Wow. Okay, that's an, this is kind of an intense reading. I'm not going to lie. There's been a lot going on here. There's, there's like, I feel like there's so many different storylines that I'm seeing right now. But I feel like for some of you, you could have put out a bid on something, okay? And you're going to end up I feel like you're going to get some type of an offer. There's going to be some type of an offer. Yes, I'm definitely seeing an offer. And you're going to have to, I feel like you need to look at this offer and look at what is being on offer to you. I am seeing somebody purchasing a car today. Be careful. Sleazy car salesman is what I just heard. Sleazy car salesman. I think at the end of the day, you end up getting a really good deal on whatever you're doing, but just be mindful that you're not walking in there blind and stupid, okay? Take somebody with you. Because I got the chariot and I've got the hierophant. And that's like a car deal, okay? Where you're coming in for your car. And you don't want to get screwed is what you don't want. And that's the devil here. Like, I feel like the devil's kind of like lurking in the background too. It sees what this queen of cups is doing. Yeah, the queen of cups, she got the four of swords. I did say I felt like she like left. She left. She's possibly coming back for work, for, for like for work. But she knows that she has a big decision that needs to be made. It's a head and heart decision. And it's not just about like, yes, it's about the things that she loves. But it's like, does she, she looks at it, she goes, I love my work. Do I focus on my work? Do I want to put in any more energy into my love relationships? And it's like, she needed to take a step back and take a look at this. And she's got to find out like what it is that she loves more because whatever this devil is, okay, it's brought a lot of pain and sorrow and suffering and backstabbing and she's been looking over it he or she does not matter like how, am i getting my return on my investment you see that ace of, like that one pentacle right there so that's clarifying the devil so you see how he's got the you know i'm putting something aside for myself because i see that all the things that i have you know put my energy into like i need to take some of my energy back for myself and when that happens you got the Ace of Pentacles, which is this opportunity. So it's like that Ace that he's looking at down here or that he's putting aside. You know, maybe you had to pay something and you had to put, you only have a little bit put aside. It doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, even though there was pain and sadness and whatever separation, you're, it's like the Wheel of Fortune says like, I'm ready for something new. Whatever that is. Like, I'm ready for something new and I'm ready for my wishes to get fulfilled. I don't know what's waiting for me behind that per curtain, but I don't want to feel this way anymore. And then here comes this offer of an apology possibly, and it could have everything to do with this, this devil over here. And it's like, I'm moving on. Like, I feel like, like I want to move for, on from this, you know, victoriousness. It's like, 
you know, if you're, if you're, this is a marriage. Okay. You want a victory in this marriage. And there is a final horn being blown. Like, do I break this ca karmic contract that I have with this individual or do I continue to move forward? But right now I feel like we both need to like fly out of this. And, and you see two people falling from that tower, not just one, right? You see two people falling and then putting down the burden. Like I'm done, right? I'm done with whatever this is. So it doesn't say whether you continue in this situation or not. It doesn't, you know, but it is saying whatever hard work, obviously he's putting in some freaking hard work. He's had a lot of patience for the, you know, it's been backbreaking, whatever this is, relationship, work, you know, buying a new car, possibly for some of you, maybe you had a crappy car and somebody has now is like purchasing your vehicle so that you can go out and buy a new car. Try not to screw this person over. Okay. If you know there's something wrong with it, make sure you tell them. But I do feel like. Oh, wow. <laughs> something going on. Okay, I am going to say it. There's something also going on with like, you're going to hear some news. Okay. About stuff that's been going on overseas. I feel like there's about like, there's a final horn being blown. I don't want to get too much into that, but you guys know what I mean. And the tower is coming down. There could be some type of an explosion. Hmm. Hmm. Really interesting cards, you guys. Oh, let's look at your finances. Spirit, please show me their finances. Okay. So your finances says gold, solid finances, investing, tech, integrity, and deep values. So for some of you, like I said, this is about like it's, it's banking, long-term position, satisfying work. So, uh, you know, and you could be investing also with that. It, that's what it's saying. You're investing in something. Or somebody's investing in you. Somebody wants to offer you something and invest in you. Whatever that means, turtle, money coming slowly, but steady progress. Uh, career is some, some of you, like I said, you could be, you could be moving too. You could be traveling for work. Okay. Someone here, you're going to have to contact an insurance company. Okay. On, on, on a vehicle or something. Yep. Their light bulb just came out when I said that frame, steady income, organizing accomplishments. For some of you, your career could be art and design, home oriented or self-employed. Uh, light bulb says lucrative ideas, new income source, inspiration, career as entrepreneur, new job and creative work. So I definitely do see a lot of art and creativity, bottom of the deck, crown, overcoming obstacles, power plays and wealth. Career could be owner or boss taking charge and making progress, putting your crown on, right? Uh, she has her crown on, she's wearing her crown. So, um, and so does she. Look at the Queen of Pentacles sitting over here. She's got her crown on as well. Uh, like I said, there's a few different storylines. I'm sorry if I did confuse you, but I just kind of put the messages out as I was getting them. Um, hmm. What an interesting day. Some of you, I would say try and sleep in in the morning if you can. <laughs> Take your day slow. All right. Just kind of go with it. Go with the flow. That's what the Queen of Cups is all about. And go into it with a place of the heart and don't let anybody take that away from you. Okay. I love you guys all so much. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. If you are interested in the personal reading, all my information's in the description box down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It does help my channel grow and I really do appreciate it. Anyway, take care guys.